Hey guys, it's Flawless Pigeon Gaming coming at you with some further speculation and second guesses as towards the main protagonist that we will be playing as in the new Assassin's Creed Victory. My latest video on the subject has scored nearly 3,000 views and so due to this small success I decided to look a bit further into some details and what I found is pretty interesting to be honest. Uh, firstly, let's set the scene by knowing that the game will take place in 19th century London, when the Industrial Revolution was ripe and the fertile environment created extraordinary opportunities for entrepreneurs with visions and ideas. Obviously, with America having a government that has a risk-taking standpoint on new inventions, along with a minimal regula regulatory can't even say the word now, uh, <laughs> interference, their capitalism was rivaling of that with Britain, which is where we pick up as I said in particular, London. Now this is a short video because there's not a lot on the main protagonist, but the protagonist in question is one of these entrepreneurs in Britain called Samuel Fay, who, in quotation marks, in the events of the ongoing industrial revolution enters the assassin order in a time of change in the Templar rule. Fay is respected and successful in his occupation who works outside of the corrupt law to guarantee the security of his own and others' futures. Taking place during the closing of the Industrial Revolution in Victorian London, players will explore all new locales as they uncover the truth behind the ongoing rebellion. Now, bear in mind guys, this is all speculation. This is all from sources i found. People have said this, but in the past Assassin's Creed they've mentioned the character called Samuel Fay, but I, I don't know, personally I don't really follow it, you know, as as I found it in my last video as well. The Assassin's Creed Blackfire was originally called Golden Age, which is sort of threw me off. So if you watched that video, that wasn't true. That was my own mistake. But yeah, it's all speculation. And I tried to look into uh, entrepreneurship, I tried to look into a corrupt law. Obviously during this time Britain was very corrupt in terms of bribery and you can look into all history as to why Britain was corrupt but uh, apart from that I also tried to look into hidden ongoing rebellion now <laughs> during this time there was wasn't many hidden rebellions they were all very out with you know you got the chartism you've got just natural rebels too in the industrial revolution in terms of farmers who obviously didn't want this but I don't think there's anything behind that statement other than just the Assassin's Creed themselves trying to incorporate their own sort of take because as we've seen in the past Assassin's Creed, yes they do use historical figures and events, but apart from that they obviously put their own story in it and I think that's just them adding a bit of story to it. So we're interested of course. They obviously don't want it to be boring. But apart from that I'm really looking forward to it. I think the setting's gonna be great, you know, dark, dismal London, in a time of change, in a time of turmoil where people didn't understand what was going on. You know, as I said I looked into entrepreneurship, I don't think there was anything really great about it other than the fact that entrepreneur were very big during this time so you know expect maybe a few inventions a few sort of da Vinci inventions going on obviously not da Vinci but that's sort of, those sort of lines you know you've got some big characters I also looked into Roderick Bulmer uh, as I mentioned in my last video he was the one you assassinate uh, I don't think he's an actual real character I did look and all it took me to was an Assassin's Creed wiki which I'll leave a link down below if you want to see that Apart from that guys, I'm sorry for it being a short video, there is not much on this guy apart from that one blurb and I've tried to span it out, I've tried to detail as much as I can, but apart from that, all it is is a very, very basic backstory, which we're not even sure if you're going to use this guy, but if they do then I don't understand why they wouldn't, you know, they've got a perfect backstory from behind here. I'm really looking forward to it. Comment below if you're looking forward to it as well. You know, I've always looked forward to Assassin's Creed. Even though they may seem very copy and paste after times, you know, it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun.
and uh, I really like it in setting because obviously I live in Britain myself. Yes, I do live in Wales, but you know I've been to London, so I should be able to spot some uh, some landmarks as opposed to Unity, where those riddles pointing to landmarks I had no idea for, apart from the Notre Dame. But apart from that, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you can like, comment, and subscribe if you really enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe and help me out an absolute bunch and if you do I will check out your channel as well because as I said we're all a community we've all got to work together so uh, thank you for watching and thank you for your support because it's been absolutely amazing this is Flawless Pigeon Gaming